Five and a half years ago, I decided to quit my teaching job to pursue real estate full time. That was a huge mistake. Kind of. The past couple of years, the job market has changed quite a bit. First was a COVID furlough, <coughs> and soon after came the work from home surge. Suddenly, everyone and their mom were able to land remote work, and the expectation was, if I can't work from home at this job, I'll just go somewhere else. Well, this became the norm once lockdowns were over. For employers, it was horrible. For business owners or for folks that were looking to start a new business on the side, it was a huge opportunity. In the early 20th century, owning a business was not sexy. In fact, it was often the only option for survival. No one was posting their coffee online with the caption rise and grind. People weren't watching motivational videos online 24 seven. Things were simple, work or die. Today's workflow is a lot different than it used to be. With the rise of technology and smartphones, tablets, computers, Making money in the 21st century has never been easier. But what about starting your own business? Now that's where things get really interesting. In the book Originals, Adam Grant actually mentions a situation where he passed on an investment opportunity where a startup with four founding members were only working on that startup part-time. They had their own full-time jobs. He believed that if they weren't committed full-time to this opportunity, that it wouldn't be successful. Well, that venture wound up turning into a company that you may know now as Warby Parker that's valued at over a billion dollars. Most people today don't have to quit their jobs just to try out a business idea. In many cases, it's actually recommended that you keep your full-time job and pursue your business after hours. But year after year, we see the same pattern. A young CEO decides to take a plunge in the deep end with no plan and soon realizes I've made a terrible mistake. Most people think that starting a business will be able to give them some more time, money, and flexibility to have a social life. Guys, I have some uh, bad news. Unfortunately, it's not always the same for every single business owner. And let me just give you guys some examples of what I've been through. First, let's talk about time. Now, this is just a normal Thursday that we're filming at about 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning. But my day started at about 2.30 in the morning, not intentionally. I don't have an alarm set, but when I wake up, I decide to get up and go to the gym. So today was a little bit earlier than normal, getting to the gym at 4 a.m. And my day's really not gonna stop until until maybe 5 30 6 o'clock tonight and that doesn't include a nap that sometimes I'm fortunate enough to get uh, now that's not obviously every day but I can tell you I'm working far more hours as a business owner than I ever worked as an individual with a w-2 salaried income so if time doesn't necessarily work and let's say you're working all the time at least you'll be rich right it's a good aspect to look at and I hate to be the bearer of bad news yet again, I'm not saying that the income that I'm making right now is not more than I was making as a teacher because it is miles ahead of that. Um, but also on the flip side, I spend more on a daily basis than I spent probably an entire month as a teacher. Now that spending money can be office space, it can be leads and marketing, it can be staff, it can be travel for work. At the end of the day, I am working a ton, yes, and I'm making more than I was as a teacher, but I'm also spending a ton of money in order to earn that type of income. So you have no time on your hands because you're a business owner and you work all the time, and you surely aren't rich because you spend as much money as I spend trying to build a business, so you probably have you know, the last but not least, uh, a good maybe work family balance, right? Unfortunately, last but not least here, the first three or three and a half years of being licensed, I didn't go out. I can actually guys tell you an exact example that I met another at the time, he was a CPA, no longer friend anymore, but he's a realtor now and, and he's done quite well for himself. He actually found me out at a bar one night. He actually laughed a little bit after we got to talking because he would have put his entire life savings on betting that the person that he would not see that night at the bar would be me because I just don't go out. I'm up every single morning hustling and grinding and busting my butt to be able to build the business that I have now. Now, obviously five and a half years into the business, I'm on the other side of things now where yes, I, I have a little bit more flexibility with my work, but I can tell you those first three to three and a half years were just absolutely horrible. So do I regret leaving teaching and jumping headfirst into real estate? I guess kind of. I could have certainly been a little bit more safe when it came to jumping headfirst and just pursuing real estate full time. Maybe kept my teaching job a little bit longer and then eventually rode my way into real estate, but I certainly don't regret it. Now, as far as advice for folks that are out there kind of 
trying to do something similar to what I've done, you know, start a business or do a side hustle on the side to create additional income, I want you and I certainly advise you to keep it as a side hustle or just something on the side and don't pursue it necessarily full time unless you know absolutely that you're going to be successful. I see so many people that get into the self-employed world or start their own business and then wind up not being successful and even totally regret even attempting to do so. You don't have to put yourself in such a high risk scenario. So if you've got that great full-time job, keep that full-time job, build up your side business or your business in itself enough to the point where you already have some success in it and then leave that full-time job. So the question still remains, guys, do you quit your full-time job? And honestly, that's completely up to you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help and stay tuned for the next video.